what is going on guys, it's Benny, in today's video we are going to be opening up the brand new set in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Flames of Destruction. Normally when a new set comes out I get a booster box case of it, uh, but this time around I only did, I, or I only bought one case early on, um, and now I got a few more. So we'll see some more Flames of Destruction openings on the channel. Um, the next big set that I want to open up a lot of is Dark Saviors coming out later in the month because it has cards that I actually want to use in my deck, which is the Brandish Maidens and or Sky Strikers. So, without further ado though, sorry for slacking on the uploads, been really busy lately, but here we have the Flames of Destruction booster box opening. So we're still haunted for Infinite Impermanence. Uh, that is the chase card in this set. It is currently like $70, I think. And then another awesome secret rare is the Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion and or any of the Nightmare cards are really cool as well. Uh, the one Nightmare card that I actually need is Nightmare Griffin. I pulled him on the sneak, pit event, sneak peek event, but I traded him away. Uh, so I need another one of him to complete my Nightmare combos because I have Nightmare Unicorn. Um, I have Nightmare, uh, the, the, the regular monster one I have. Uh, so what we're really hunting for though, maybe more Ghost Bells or... Ghost Bell, yeah, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, or and or the Infinite Permanence. Mainly that one because that is the chase card, uh, and multi fake would be nice as well. But we got the nice sneak peek play mat with Trisbania there. So without further ado, leave a like on the video if you guys are excited. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And like I said, you'll see some more Flames of Destruction open on the channel throughout the next few days because it is the brand new set. And like I said, I didn't get a booster box case of them this time around, so <sighs> got to make up for it with the singular openings. We got Watch Cat. World Legacy Corruption, Elemental Saber, Malo, and we have a Super Team Buddy Force Seeker Error. I don't, I don't get what's going on with these booster boxes. It seems on the top of the pack, or the first pack that you open on the right hand side, that's the second time where it's been a Seeker Rare. It's our first time pulling this card. Super Team Buddy Force Unite is probably the worst Seeker you can get. It, no, no, it's not probably, it is. This card's like only like three to four dollars. Cause it's not very good um target one monster face up on the field target one face up monster on the field special summon one monster from your hand or graveyard with the same original type as that monsters but with a different original name if this card in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect you can set one super team buddy force unite directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone yeah it's it's it sounds decent, but it, in terms of use, it's actually not that great. Uh, hopefully we get some like F.A. Don Drakester or Sekka's Light for our rares. Um, those are the ones we're hoping for. So, tough start to this one. I mean, the picture looks kind of nice if you like Ojamas. But, bad Seeker Rare so far. The only thing that'll make up for that one is Infinite Impermanence. A multi-faker as our Ultra Rare. Okay, well, there's two scenarios. Getting an ultra or a multi faker as our ultra rare, and then if we get a decent um, or second seeker like ghost bell and or something else, wind up Zen maintenance. Sekka's light. There we go. Very hard to pull that. Uh, that's what we'll put the super rares right here. And if you guys, if I pull the common that I think a lot of you know of already, I think it's like awakening the dragon. That card is also another one you want to put to the side because it's a short print common and it's very, it's got a very good effect. Uh, if I pull it, I'll show you guys. Tindagle Trini, Pomp Thorn, three Trolling Trolls, Goki, Oka Stretch, and we have an Elemental Saber, Ma Mahalu, Moelu, the Sanctioned, the Sanctified Dark Lord, Vendra Daybreak. So, Ultra Rare, we're getting some Elemental Sabers. I think I pulled three of this guy now. So, Ultra Rares can go there. The the elemental sabers, I'm still unsure of a third. You guys can let me know. If you guys want, I know they look really cool. The, the artwork is amazing on them, and I know that does it for a lot of people. Like, if you think an artwork looks so sweet, a lot of people will just make the deck. Um, I think it looks really cool, but I don't know if they're good. I've heard they are decent. We got an awesome super nightmare Cerberus here. Goki face turn. Limit code. So, this is probably... It's Red Reboot and Nightmare Cerberus are probably the best super rares to get here. Because uh, Nightmare Cerberus is probably one of the best. It has, it has probably like one of the better effects. You can target one special summon monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Just destroy it. Has to be special summon though. Space Insulator. Medolce Fresh Sistara, Sistrat. Mech Knight Avram. <sighs> Link Bound. And Trickstar Delphinendum. Alright, alright. This was the promo guy. 
2,000 attack, 0 defense. He is a psychic normal. I think Alexandrite Dragon is 2,000 attack and actually has some defense, doesn't he? And he's a light monster. But he's not a mech knight monster. So that may come up. Maki Maki, Defrag Dragon, Orgog's End, Elemental Saber, Nalu, Trickstar Light Arena, Crystal Conclave. Alright, you can go there. Slow start here, but what do you guys think overall of the set? Uh, it's it's not, a lot of people were thinking that Kristan Needle Fiber was going to be in here. If it was, that would have made the set like 10 times better. And also, I originally, when I first saw this set, I thought for whatever reason the Sky Strikers were going to be in this one, but they're actually Trickstar, Ro, Dode. They're actually in the, yeah, the one coming up later this month. I, got, I must have misread that earlier on. Like, oops. So that was a miscalculation by me here. Come on, give me some more Sekka's Light. F.A. Dawn Drakester. If you guys don't know what Sekka's Light is, Called by the Grave will take as well. Basically, if you have, you can only run this spell card. I'll read it, I'll read it if we get another one, we'll see. World Legacy Sorrow, I've read it a bunch already, F.A. Overheat. Okay, you know what? Just cause some of you maybe don't even, maybe it's your first time watching. An opening on this. We'll read it again for you guys why it's good. Uh, if you have no spell or traps in your graveyard, draw two cards. Also, for the rest of this duel, after you activate this card, you cannot activate spell, trap cards, or effects except Sekka's Light. So basically, if you activate this card, this is the only card for the rest of the duel that you can use. Um, then it goes... You can banish this card from your graveyard, reveal one monster in your hand, shuffle it into the deck, then draw one card. You can only use each effect of Sekka's Light once per turn. So basically, you can banish this from the graveyard so you meet the requirement where you have no spell or traps in your graveyard, and then shuffle back one of your monsters that's not of use to you and draw another card. So it's pretty good. It's like a pot of greed. Um, but it has, I think Murmurils can use it. I think even maybe, uh, Burning Abyss can use it as well, but I'm sure there'll be a come, a come along a time when this card is going to be crazy in some sort of deck. Pomp Thorn, three trolling trolls. Nightmare Goblin, all right. This is also a very good ultra rare, the one that you want to get. Revenge Red Executioner. Okay. This guy is part of the Nightmare combos as well. He's the one that gives you an additional normal summon. So we make some crazy cards, some crazy combos possible. Two monsters with different names. If this card is Link Summoned during your turn, you can discard one card. If this card was co-linked when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. They all have that effect. Basically all Nightmare cards. Uh, also, during your main phase, this turn, you can normal summon one monster from your hand to your zone this card's point to in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only use, you can only apply this effect of Nightmare Goblin once per turn. Neither player can target co-link monsters you control with card effects. So he's just a great ultra rare. Um, basically the guy you want to start up with uh, to do Nightmare combos. <laughs> well, not start up with him, but he helps you get combos going to give you that other normal summon. So awesome ultra rare. Uh, he's like up there with multi faker as a good ultra rare. So I guess I should have mentioned him earlier. F.A. Dead Heat. Degrade Buster, Great Fly, Limit Code. So we didn't get any F.A. Dawn Dragsters yet. And we are still looking for um, Awakening the Dragon. I know like uh, some of the other YouTubers like Simo and stuff and I think I first saw it on the House of Champs. They were, they were the ones that brought it to the attention that this card was pretty good. So I'm telling you guys to relaying the message. Watch Cat, Maki Maki. And we have Nightmare Phoenix. We're getting all the Nightmare cards here. FA Winners, that's her field spell. So, another Nightmare. This seems to be the most common Nightmare card to get. Obviously, it's super rare. So, there's that. Goki Oka Stretch, Space Insulator. The Trolls. Red Reboot will take you. And we have Goki Face Turn, Trickstar Bloom, and Zector. Don't even want to go. Vendor at Daybreak. I'll take you Red Reboot. Very, very solid. When your opponent activates a trap card, negate the activation. And if you do, set that card face down. Then they can set one other trap directly from your deck. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, your opponent cannot activate trap cards. You may be thinking, Ben, 
Well, that card sucks. Well, you fit, this last clause is what makes it good. You can activate this card from your hand by paying half your life points. So being able to have this card live from your hand is what makes it good. Okay, it makes it decent in some decks because some people think it sucks, some people think it's good, but if you can kill someone while using it, it's good. Uh, Goki Yoka Stretch again, Space Insulator. It seems like these two are always together. These three are always together. Vampire Sucker. Oh my gosh, guys. So, this is the other bad secret we want to get. So this box... Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on what we get for our other Ultra Rare. But, so far, that is not what we want to see out of, for Secret Rares out of these boxes. Vampire Sucker and Super Team Buddy Force. Oh my gosh. That's a total of like $10 right there, I think. Not even. <laughs> Out of secret rares. Elemental Saber Nalu. F8 Dark Dragster. Okay. Well, that's a little bit discouraging. Definitely not the best booster box I've ever opened. Well, let's see if we can get a multi-faker. That'll really make it up. Called by the Grave. Maki Maki. Elemental Saber Malu. Palace of the Elemental Lords. Not a bad one. The, the Elemental Sabers need that one. World Legacy Nightmare. Limit Code. Still none of these short print. We get F.A. Dawn Dragster. We didn't get awake, um, Awakening the Dragon yet. Sheesh. World Legacy Corruption. Elemental Saber Malo. Tin Dangle Trinity. Nightmare Phoenix. All right, all right, all right. Jeez, man. So we're probably gonna get one more ultra rare. <sighs> let's hope it's let's hope it's a multi faker. <laughs> we need the multi faker. Restoration of the monarchs. Goki Oka Stretch. Gorgon's End. Space Insulator. Trickstar Rodode. Heartless Drop Off. Okay. Couple packs left. Maybe like five or six left. Red Reboot will take you. Yes, we got it. We got it. There we go. I think I'm more happy about getting Awakening the Dragon. <laughs> or Awakening the Dragon than, <laughs> than Vampire Sucker or Super Team Buddy Force. This, if this set card in its owner's control has left the field because of an opponent's effect and is now in the graveyard or banished... You can special summon one monster from your deck or extra deck. So there's a lot of trap removal. Uh, the only thing this really doesn't work on is like evenly matched because it'll be face down. But waking the dragon guys is pretty nasty if they, someone's going to blind MST you. There's a lot of things that are going to remove back row. Um, you can side it in if someone's playing like a lot of, like, like I said, a lot of stuff that's playing back row removal. And if, say you're playing paleo, this would be good too. Because then you can special summon... Something that's going to be incredibly hard to get over. There's like, there's, um, what is it? The, uh, I forget the exact name of it. Let's see what we get here, though. Emma to Saber, La Pula Mana. There we go, F.A. Don Drakester. So it seems like we only ever get one of those in each booster box. So hold on to these three, guys. They're good. Um, what's his name? Something Falco. Falcon Falco? He's like 3,800 attack, unaffected by card effects. Crazy, True Draco can't get over him, and then there's also the war, the last warrior. Basically, you cannot. It destroys all your monsters, and then nobody can normal summon, special summon. It's crazy. That card's a complete shutdown card. So those are some of the targets that you could use with it, just to completely destroy things. Or if you really needed to, special summon from something from your deck. Wind up Zen Maintenance. Let's go for another one of these short printed cards, man. So we have four packs left. We want a multi faker and another Dawn Dragster and or Waking the Dragon and or Sekka's Light. Vendor Nightmare. World Legacy Succession. So this is probably my worst ever booster box opening. Like of a new set. I mean I've had some good luck in the past. Well this one probably takes the cake for the worst one just being real here <laughs> oh we got the nightmare mermaid she's a part of the nightmare combos as well 
If this card is linked summon, you can discard one card, special summon one nightmare monster from your deck. Then if this card was co-linked, when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. So she special summons, I think that the normal monster, the one that you play the one of. Forget her name. I pulled her in my first booster box, I think. I don't remember. Phosphorus the Elemental Lord. So we only got one Dawn Drakester, one Wakening the Dragon, and one Sekka's Light. Let me know if you guys think Wakening the Dragon is good. Or do you think it's just a bad card? Because, like, yeah, if it doesn't get hit, it's just like a dead card sitting there if no one, if they're not going to pop it. Elemental Saber, Lapulia. Lapulia, yeah, I think that's how I say it. So, for this epic recap, guys and girls, we had a bunch of Elemental Saber stuff. Red Reboot, we pulled one of, two of those. Nightmare Phoenix, we pulled one Nightmare Cerberus. We pulled one each of these. These are like the short prints, rares, and commons. For our Ultra Rares... Palace of the Elemental Lords, World Legacy Succession, Elemental Saber, Molehu. I don't know how to say it. I really don't. For our Seeker Rares in the best ultra, we have Nightmare Goblin, Super Team Buddy Force. This card is... And then Vampire Sucker. So, not the best opening by far. <laughs> it's probably my worst one by far. But hey, hopefully you guys pulled better. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys later.